Wait a minute. All right. I was going to have Don immediately jump in with Scamlets, but there's one caller who snuck in before the bell. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go ahead and take Max because I think this is a question that we can hit really quickly and move on with okay. the subject. So, go for it. you there, Max? Yes. Hi, Matt. How you doing? Oh, doing great. I love the show. I uh, watch all the time. Um, anyway, all the time or just when was, it's on? Um, oh, all the time. I watch it on YouTube and when it's on. Sweet. All right. Um, anyways, what I was going to say is. Uh, how come no one ever seems to mention, you know, in the Bible it talks about all the fantastic miracles, the parting of the Red Sea, the virgin birth, Noah's Ark, etc. How come uh, you don't hear of any of these fantastic miracles now? I mean, there's nothing happening nowadays that's like that. That's a good question. Uh, anyway, that was just uh, something I was wanting to address. Yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it real quick. Holy cow, the phone lines are lighting up. For all you calling in, hang on. Don's got a topic. We're going we're gonna to go through some more scamlets real quick. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Max. I appreciate the call. Yeah, thank you all. Keep on rocking. <clears throat> it's, it's a good question. It's one we've talked about a lot. Um, Here and there. You know, in different, in different fashions. It's the why won't God heal amputees thing and these other things. Uh, and for those people who think that Christianity is true, and, and I realize that there are plenty of people out there who would say, oh, there are miracles all the time. Um, okay. Uh, it's not a miracle that you found your car keys. Um, it's not a miracle that you weren't hit by that semi. Uh, it's not a miracle that three people out of 400, you know, survived the, the bombing of a building. Um, give me a real miracle and let's have some evidence to back it up. Please explain why there aren't, uh, I don't know, miraculous healings that are documented scientifically. Uh, that cannot be explained by you know things going into remission and the natural process of the body. Give me an example of why <clears throat> manna isn't falling from the sky and why we're not being led around by pillars of cloud and fire. You know that you know that Mother Teresa supposedly created a posthumous miracle, don't you? Uh, <laughs> this is this is, it gives you a lot of insight into how these things work. Yes, right. The the thing is, <laughs> you if you believe this, then you don't think God's playing fair. If it, if it was if it was okay for him to reveal himself to Paul, um, then why couldn't he reveal himself in that same way to everybody? If he doesn't do that, then he's playing favorites. If it was okay for him to reveal himself by these clearly obvious miracles, let's part the Red Sea and walk people across, something that, by the way, never happened, uh, why isn't it that we don't see miracles like that today? The one and only reasonable answer is that they never occurred in the first place, that we're talking about the myths and superstitions of ancient peoples um, trying to trump up their history as being special. But we'll get back to more of that, and there's more callers 